when I was starting to look for uh, an agent for my book, and uh, I was wanting to write a book, and all my friends, I had, I was in networking um, groups, and a lot of them were therapists, and they had master's degrees and PhDs, and they were, you don't have a degree in psychology, and and everyone that I heard at the writing conferences was, you have to have the credentials, and uh, they're not going to buy, you know, no big publisher is going to buy your book. You're crazy, uh, and I kept thinking. This is something that needs to be out there. This is I want to share this idea of the subconscious and uh, how the mind works and how we create our reality. And I've never read a book like this before, and I need to write it. And I just I I did what you did. I didn't listen to them. I ignored. I said I'm going to make this work, and I got a, a deal. Not only get a, an advance. Uh, for the publishing, which they said, you're never going to get an advance. You should self-publish because no one's going to like it. But I got published uh, an, a deal with Wiley, which is one of the top not, nonfiction books in the in the uh, publishing companies in the world and um, distributed internationally. And then everyone after my book came out, all these people that had books published, they said, how did you do it? Like, you don't have a degree. <laughs> like, you weren't famous. You weren't on the Today Show. You know, you didn't have all these um, uh things to to uh, you know that normal people would get to get this publishing and i said i just use the power of my mind i use my own kind of willingness and and not no one was going to stop me it took a while i got lots of rejections but it's that resilience it's that i know this book needs to be out there i know it needs to be out there and kept going and going and going and i didn't listen to people <laughs> And you also said that to me too, like you, when I, that was happening, you were like, don't listen to people. Yeah. And I would say, uh, to, just to be clear. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to not listen to anyone. Yeah. But not to listen to the naysayers. The, the, yeah. The, the uh, kind of the ordinary people or the, the people that are, their mindset is uh, on limitation. You know what I call those people? Hmm. Dream stealers. <laughs> There's dream stealers out there that aren't. And, then, and you look at the source of the people that are saying those things. They're not really doing anything. The people that are saying you can't do that or right. you should be careful. They've never done anything like that before. So, of course, they're going to give you the advice from your old self versus who you're becoming. Yeah. So we do want to listen to some people. <laughs> people that have done what you want to do and, yes. and can inspire someone who's inspiring and saying moving you forward.